breakfast idea with bread, with akara, with anything. Hello everybody, um, welcome to my channel. My name is Wendo and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I make my pap akamo in Switzerland. Yes, um, so you know how hard normally the corn is? So I've tried it before when no matter how you run your blender on it, it still has some particles in it. Then I tried buying the coerced corn meal. It wasn't still giving me what I wanted. So I decided to buy this fine. So this is 100% corn meal. So I'm going to soak this in water. I am going to be soaking it here. We're going to use this to make pap. Um, if you don't know, I have a little baby. So I don't like to give her custard. So you know how we grew up in Nigeria drinking pap. I love to do that for my kids as well. So whether living in Switzerland or Nigeria, I try to give them the best food. So this is like the um, yellow maize. Yeah, how are you doing? Please, if you're not subscribed to my channel, can you subscribe to my channel? Please share, comment, like, and subscribe. So we're going to be soaking this for five days because I want it to ferment. That's what I'm going to do five days. Because you know you only get the akamo taste fermented after the corn has fermented. So I will so you can see this is hundred percent corn. So I'm going to go ahead now and put some water in it. Then what we'll be doing is every day we're going to be changing the water. I will carry you along and show you how. So every day we're gonna be changing the water till it ferments after five days. Then we will start washing it. I love the fermentation process is what gives it that akamu taste, real Nigerian akamu taste. So this is it now, full with water. I think they show that everything is wet. So just use spoon to make sure that everything is wet. As you can see how I'm doing it here. Just make sure that everything is covered in water. I think we need, we still need a bit of water. So guys this is the one we're gonna change the water after 24 hours you can see fermentation process has started already so i'm gonna go ahead and change the water and put new water and we'll leave it again for day two So hello, welcome back. This is day three of our pap. You can see I changed the container because it got so full and it was pouring out. So I had to pour it in this pot. You can see the fermentation process has started. You can already perceive the smell of akamu. So we're going to go ahead and change the water and put new water for tomorrow. This smells so like, let me don't see how it smells like. But when you know, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and pour. I'm not pouring everything away because I don't want to lose the akamu. So just put more water, okay? Hello, everybody. Good evening. So today is day four. We're gonna be washing this tomorrow. So right now, we're gonna go ahead to change the water as usual. Let's see. Can you see? the fermentation is real you can already perceive the smell of the akamu so right now oh my god it smells but that is what it's supposed to do so you can see the fermentation process this is day four remember so i'm so hello guys good morning so today is the day we're gonna be making akamu finally day five so this is it we're gonna be saving this today so before you um, before you start making a camo there are some stuff you need to have so you need to have like a salt bag they call it salt bag in Nigeria if you can't have this you can uh, ask your parents back home to buy you like a china white 
so they have to sew it like a bag because you're going to be pouring it here when you finish then you're going to have this this is like a silk or yeah silk fabric that's what you're going to be using to save that so and you're going to be needing a bowl to use to save it so these are the materials we need i'm going to prepare it now i'll go ahead and start making this I'm doing is I'm tying the bag so I just want to have something like this to be able to save on it so I'm going to be doing it under the running tap here so I don't have to be getting water every now and then but let me drain the water for day five let me have that what we're going to be working with this so let's go ahead and start this so this is how you scoop it you see this is really really healthy like for us living abroad we have a lot of things we give to our children that we really don't know what is inside so for me feeding my children they... so adding this to part of my children's breakfast menu guys so adding this to my children's menu sorry for the interruption adding this to my children's menu so i'm just going to be adding one day just bit by bit Sorry guys, I just kept getting distracted. So this is what we're going to be doing. They will finish saving everything. Have you tried this abroad before? I do it quite often, really. Especially when I have um, like a little baby. Because once my baby really enjoyed this, it makes them sleep well at night. So when she drinks this at night, she sleeps, oh my gosh, she sleeps almost the whole night. So this is, you see, see this we don't need. So we've taken a good, extracted the pap from that and we don't need that anymore. So this we're going to be trashing it. This we don't need, we're going to be trashing that. So I'll put it here. Then I get another scoop. So as you can see, this is the last, this is the last badge of it. And we already have enough water, so we don't need to keep adding water. to make this part yeah. Merry Christmas and prosperous New Year guys Merry Merry Christmas We thank God See? No, I'm going to gradually gradually this filled so move this aside Leave this up so I can untie. I'm trying to untie the knot, so I just take it off because there's no way I'm going to be able to take those ones out. So I'm going to untie this and gradually you see what I'm doing from one side. Take it off, take it off, then let this rest and pour in a bag. Really. I made so much when I was in Nigeria. I did this. Oh my god, even when I was in uni, I remember my auntie used to call me. She's like, It's a matter of the day, and I'm like, You make me here. Yeah, I'm like, Oh gosh, yeah. So you can see, this is what we have left. This was what I was trying to take off, so we don't have this. You definitely don't want this in your pack. So I'm going to be pouring this now in the bag. I'm going to go ahead and pour this and put this bag here like this and pour this inside of it. So I 
remember in Nigeria we used to put this outside and put stone over it. But here I don't have that in the usual. So I'm going to be leaving this. I'll take it out of the bag actually and just put it in the sink here. So the water will be draining. So you can do this at night. So I'm going to this is during the day. I'm going to just leave this here. The water will be draining and I'm going to sift out of one kg of maize. So hello guys, um, good morning, good afternoon or whatever the time may be. So this is the end product of our Akamu. So after letting the water drain, this is what we have. We're going to be going ahead to put them into this two bowl and store them properly. Okay. This pap you need to just mix with very little water as little as possible while your hot water is boiling just see. make sure it's not watery Where my water is cooking on the stove. My water is boiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the water. So this is the final result of our camu from start to finish and this is because I'm making it for my baby this is the perfect consistency I want so try it this is a very good breakfast idea with bread with akara with anything Get into so this is for my baby so this is the perfect consistency if you want it thicker you know how to do it and just add your sugar and um, milk and just enjoy bon appetit bon appetit Mmm, this is so fermented properly. This is so nice. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, share, like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much. You can come and join some Akara. I'll come with me. Just come with your Akara. I don't have Akara already. Okay, thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.